we made a video called Adobe Photoshop Gradient Mask Not Working. But since then, Photoshop has had many updates, so let's get right into it. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna wanna add a layer mask. And so if you come down here in the bottom right corner, you see the layer mask button. You have to select your layer, so you make sure you select the layer, add layer mask. And then you're gonna press your G key to select your paint bucket or the gradient mask. It is over here on the left, right here about halfway through the tools. This is it. So it's the gradient tool or the paint bucket. And if you press G, it'll go there. And if you press shift G, it'll navigate through those two tools. So we're on the gradient tool. It's gonna look like a box with a gradient. Who would have thought? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click, press shift, and then drag. And it's gonna give you a nice straight line. And if you pivot to the left or to the right, it's gonna go 15 degrees at a time perfectly. So it's very nice when you hold shift and do it. Fine tuning happens in the properties window. So if you go up here in windows, you're gonna see windows and properties. Also, I have mine to populate over here. First things first, it will tell you your angle. It'll tell you your scale. You know, about 40%, 30, 40% is great. And then the next thing is your smoothness. Now, when you click on these bubble icons or the dot icons, if you double click on it, it will pull up color properties. The last thing you want to do is change these colors you need them to be black and white. So now that I've changed it red, you can see the icon here is red. The gradient isn't working the same. So you wanna make sure that you have black selected on the left and white selected on the right. And it could be vice versa, but it's gonna, it's going to do the reverse of the gradient. Now this is where things get a little sticky. And I think this is where people may have some issues. The last and one of the most important controls is the opacity control. So here, if you see this dot here on the left, if it's black, that means the opacity is at 100%. If I turn it down, it's gonna turn white and the gradient mask is no longer working. So you need to make sure that if you have one dot in the opacity controls, it is at 100%. There's another setting that you can do if you wanted there are multiple variations you could do in these settings, but you can add another dot and you want the opposing dot or the opposite dot to be at zero opacity. And now here we have our gradient mask again. So if this is turned on and we had it at 100, it's going to make it even more of a gradient. If I turn the right side down to zero as well, it's going to lighten the gradient. And if I delete this box entirely, we're gonna have a nice gradient as well. Just make sure your opacity settings are at 100% under the opacity controls and you should be okay. You could put in 22 different dots here if you wanted. If we go here and turn this up, now look, if I turn this one on. Now we have this weird mask where part of it's missing here and the bottom opacity and gradient is working as well and so you can get creative in here i wouldn't do too much i actually never do this so you know in my opinion it's easy to just have the one dot or two dots and make sure your opacity settings are at 100 on the left side and zero on the right if you have two dots and if you have a one then you're just going to have it at 100 percent and that's it that's the updated version of the 2024 Photoshop Gradient Mask Not Working. And if you're still having any issues, you're always welcome to email us at Productions at gmail. You can send us an email, send us a screenshot, send us a video, and we can do what we can to help you. Following these steps should get you back on track. And if you have any questions, you know, drop them in the comments. I'll do my best. It's hard to communicate via comment when it comes to things like this, but we will do our best. 
My name is Michael DeWild. I am with DeWild Lane Media. We are business and media consultants. If you know any businesses that are in need of more clients and in need of help, we specialize in all things creative and we are here. Appreciate you. Hope this helps. Talk to you later.